Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the United States under the Hearts of Iron 4 Democracy Edition campaign. So, like I said last time, I told you I would be going into the future, or at least continue playing until we hit a future spot where I feel ready really to go to war with the Axis. So, I have done a couple things in the meantime. As you can tell that the Axis owns most of Africa, Europe, and good chunks of Asia. As well as Australasia, which is going to be a huge problem. Now for us, our main focus in this theater of war will be, or at least this episode, will be to take out Canada. The Germans and her allies uh, have put a huge number of soldiers on the border between me and them. That being said, I have slightly upgraded most of our soldiers, our infantry, with anti-tank. Because if you play against Germany, by God, they're going to have a lot of tanks. Also, I have expanded the Atlantic Fleet Patrol Group. That's basically a patrol group with one more fleet. The United States Reserve Fleet 3, which has eight screens and then a battleship. So that's not too bad. I have also made a couple, one set of submarines because we will use our marines to try to take back British Guiana. Now, before I move on, I do want to say I got this part of like French Guiana because I just kept clicking intervention mandate demand liberation of American territories so and they the French basically let me have them I have put a ton of planes everywhere I built up infrastructure all across our controlled territories and our armies are pretty much ready to go we're pretty even in my opinion maybe a little ahead of the game here in Asia at least in Manchuria on the Mongolian border well we're pretty even as well as well as e Western China maybe except for Kyrgyzstan which is looking terrifyingly small and puny other than that we right now will give our soldiers the go ahead and thumbs up to fight you guys if you can give them the go ahead to fight as well because they are suffering from attrition and they have a tank oh wait they have three to four motorized divisions two sp artillery tanks and three medium tanks it looks like wow oh I'm i was about to sneeze sorry also, in the Pacific, since the German Lorik does own Papau, I have decided to maneuver one of our armies around, 24 divisions, to invade many of the German islands here, which is kind of guarded by our submarines, which have taken some time to refit their radar or sonar or whatever, just a little bit to make sure that they are a little bit more powerful. Alright, with that in mind, I believe I've explained pretty much everything since last time. Uh... Go ahead, let's go ahead. Bo wait, before we go to war, own demand. Uh, let's see, Italian. The Italians own Guiana. If we don't have to fight Guiana, that'd be good. The Germans own Newfoundland, which would be good. Uh, the French really don't own very much. Well, let's see. They refuse. Typical. And we've got enough political power before I do something else as well. The Italians. Oh! See, just keep on clicking with enough political power. So we get the Falkland Islands, Suriname, and British Guiana. Okay, then. Very good. And, well, since we got that back, what I'm going to do... Uh, well, we're going to go to war anyways, so these soldiers are going to try to return home. But since I have my subs here, they're going to try to raid the living hell out of them. Also, before we go to war, I am trading with Sweden. I do not want to trade with Sweden as we go to war with them. So, give me that. We'll get become a little bit more negative, but we can make it up using Cuba. A little bit. Uh, as well as the Republic of China. Oh, right. Eh, kind of hurts us still, but whatever. While we're exporting a lot of oil. Anyways. Uh, with our ships, I've been making more anti-tank. Uh, anything else? I have upgraded some of our heavier ships, capital ships. So, uh, let's see. Make more convoys, more submarine hulls, and cruiser hulls. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. I put a lot of planes on my soldiers. Wait, we can't go to war? Um... German Reich overthrow the ruling government. Oh, that's Canada. I'm looking at Canada. Yeah, he's scary. He reminded me of Hitler. Oh, now, if I want to monetize this, I've just been demonetized. Cool. All right. Topple government. Call all allies, potential enemies, Italy. Uh, okay. I didn't, I didn't have to unpause. All right. Here we go, everyone. And they're going to call all their allies in. Or just Italy. Oh. 
Oh, I guess they had some... I did take some of these islands back from the French. Uh, wait, where'd they go? Uh, I guess they left. Awesome. So that is... Those are our territories. Now, coast and defense. Well, you might as well come down here. Do some of this as well. Falkland Islands are ours. They're probably going to get retaken. That's okay. I really don't care about them. Well, then I guess I have my Marines down here for nothing. 13 divisions of Marines. Mm. I'm going to need them up here in the United States. Yeah, there's a lot of... Or, yeah, Canada, the Canadian border, especially in Washington, is very weak. I want to put you up here. Help defend. We really want to take out Canada. And I'm sure they're going to call their allies in anyways. Oh, hello there. Hello there, General Kenobi. Uh, looks like we're starting to attack Heinz Guderian. All right, then. And 50 France joined. Pretty typical. Oh, the Germans are attacking us. Uh, my goal here, at least in Asia right now, is just to defend against them. Wait, we... Oh, the Japanese are attacking. Hold on here. So, I will not do this until the Mongol Empire joins the war against us. Mostly because I don't want to have to redo my entire front line because I have two groups, two field groups of five armies each with them being split in Mongolia. So, I mean, as long as the Germans keep attacking me, that's good for us. We lost 3,000. Uh, let's see. What? Oh, we're waiting the response. A lot of South American countries aren't responding yet. All my puppets did. Germany's... Okay, 36,000 men lost, but... um. Oh, they're going to try to cross the Atlantic. They've got up to 10 million manpower, so... I'm... Oh, God. Oh, we've already lost that. That's not good. Uh, actually, instead of this, since nothing's going on, do this area. Oh, is there a naval battle going on? Oh, the, oh, the Coral Sea. Oh, yeah, some of that. Oh, and we are trying to invade a lot of these islands here. Good. Some German convoys. And Italy's called Iceland, as well as Croatia into the war. Ooh. Two more convoys sunk. Very nice. Uh, Greater Hungary. That's not who we... Oh, I forgot about this spot. China? Please don't lose it. Ooh, six convoys sunk. Oh, they got a lot of subs over here. That's really not good. Oh, yeah, they got a ton of subs. Um, Can I go to war with Mongolia yet? Yeah, okay, we can. Cool. Awesome. Let's go ahead and redeploy our front line here. So... Let's see, you are over here, you are over here, so this is the right side of this Asian theater, and all the way up and around, wait, why can't you go up and around, we're at war with them, you should be able to go, oh boy, um, it's gonna hold, I do, why, Mongolia, you're fighting all of us. Germany's fighting. No, I'm not really... What the heck? If I do this, they're all going to come over to that side. That, no. No. If I do that, it's just going to be around Mongolia, which makes zero sense. So just go ahead and hold for now. I mean, if they're not in a fallback land, that's fine. North Sea Empire, which is Denmark. Lots of these guys are dying, dying, dying. Convoys, just a lot of convoys sunk. And we lost a couple more Japanese ships. Oh! We do have Newfoundland, of course. Mariners, oh my gosh, they are trying to break through our front line here. That's really not good. We do have our tanks down here, which is pretty good for... Are we defending? Oh, we're defending over here. They are definitely trying to kill us. Oh, we sunk two light cruisers, very good. Oh! Some subs. And they're going to get shrecked. Oh, and there's a lot more people joining in the war now. All right, then. Oh, my gosh. So much clicking. Um, no, we'll be okay. Yeah, join the war. Join the war. Yeah, I'm okay without that for now. Last couple convoys. Really, my goal is to wear out the German AI and her allies. It's really what I want. Oh, we lost three allied convoys. All right, then. Wait, we're not at war with it. Not right then. You guys already have the go ahead to go fight these guys. That's good. Push down. Push down as well to help them out. And nice. A submarine sunk. 
Uh, you know what? I'm going to think we're going to call this beginning phase Operation Unthinkable because right now we're getting attacked like crazy. We might lose some American territory, but it'll be territory that we don't really need. You know, not too much. Uh, how are... How is this looking? Lost a convoy. Lost like a French sub. An Italian... Thing up. Let's check air power, because that's what we can really reinforce right now. The Sea of Japan could use a little bit more help, which is fine with us. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Good enough. Sea of Japan. Uh, let's see. You guys actually should probably get some more naval bombers to do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Since we have so many Naval Bomber 2s, I'm not sure why we're not making Naval Bomber 3s. But oh well. You guys do the same thing. Actually, I will position them down here. Naval Bombers. I went too far. Alright. Uh, how are these Naval Divisions going? Well, I don't know. I've done some enemy planes. Have we taken any islands yet? Or no, we have not. We have zero naval. Oh, I'm not guarding this part of the sea. Okay, that's that makes sense. That makes sense quite a bit actually. There we go. That should help us out. And actually, the Mariana region we probably don't really need to do. Probably, I hope not. Oh, we lost a sub in exchange for a convoy. Interesting. Oh my gosh, so many ship battles. Holy crapperoni. Four Canadian destroyers sunk. Seven Spanish convoys. A uh, couple Axis convoys. Axis convoys. Oh my gosh, five Canadian destroyers sunk. And 13 Axis convoys. Good. Really, my goal here... Oh, baby. That's not bad. Is to destroy... Oh, destroy. That's pretty good. All the convoys that the Axis has, because once they can't re supply themselves, especially in Canada, oh, they took in, they've taken some American land. That's not good, and that's why I want to put anti-tank here. And we will be able to starve Canada out because they don't have many divisions. I'll show you in just a little bit. Nice, some three more enemy subs, and yeah, convoy loss. Whatever. All right, Canada them. God, I keep clicking lakes. Canada has five divisions and no manpower, so that's pretty good. Germany has... Uh, oh, that's a lot of convoys. Okay. Convoys, convoys, planes shot down. Nice. Even more planes shot down. Oh, we sunk a German light cruiser. All right. Let's see. Quickly go through all this. Oh, nice. No, no, no. Oh. Sunk two enemy convoys in exchange for two, enemy, two of our planes. See, we sunk an enemy convoy, lost a plane, we sunk a German destroyer and a German light cruiser, and we lost five allied thingamabobs. Maybe you guys try to help out there. Alright, so can we come back to this, please? There we go, now we can do it. Hurrah. Now that's gonna be good. Now I want you to re do yourselves as well. So we're going to start probably from around here-ish all the way down to uh, let's see, yeah right there. That'll be good. That'll put us, put a lot of divisions here and then we can probably start moving through what was at one point in history Russia. How's this looking? We're taking a little bit of territory not much, not much. Uh, we can probably take these guys out with a little bit of help. Not bad. Not bad. Whatever, whatever. Oh, nice. Another German convoy sunk. We've been losing a little bit of American territory. Three more destroyers, two more destroyers, five more Canadian destroyers, and another French convoy sunk. And even though I lost a few convoys as well. All right, so it looks like we're finally ready to attack. Uh, you guys hold on. Don't do anything crazy. Actually, you can do something crazy. Send you to help out. Begin hopefully taking a little bit of Canadian territory. That would be a stellar. Can you do anything here? Can you help out maybe? I will make sure that you are on low attack. 
the tank should be okay. Oh, we cannot get... Oh! A lot of goods. What the heck? Look, I need whatever I can get. China, I'm sorry. You're kind of far away. I can't use you. But I will use the Philippines for now, at least. Anyone closer I can use? Haiti. State of Japan, but eh, this is a little closer. Yeah, they're definitely trying to... Oh, man, we have a hole here. Do I have my marine somewhere here? Ooh, Williams Wadsworth. The tanks are moving... Or trying to attack. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're trying to attack over a river. Never a good idea. Never, never, never a good idea. You hold. Let the tanks do this. Let's see. Ooh, early submarine hole. Another German submarine. And now a French submarine. Now another French submarine. And then another French submarine. Holy cow. Uh, why do I have... Con Seriously, why do I have convoys moving out here? Yeah, avoid pretty much all of this. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, avoid that. And actually, just in case, yeah, no one goes through here. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of this doesn't make sense, but, you know, whatever. Oh, it looks like they do have some guys stationed here. Well, at least one division. We have been moving around. Not bad, not bad. We've been somewhat successful around here, so that's pretty good. Got to kill an enemy convoy. Two more enemy convoys. We're having some mixed success in the Pacific again. Not bad. I hate having to reconquer some of these islands, but you know, whatever. Oh, we have Papau. Go ahead and take as many of the naval bases as you possibly can. Very nice, very nice. Good, good, good. Oh. Two more planes shot down. Uh, German, or Japanese Convoy sunk. We are still reorganizing over here since not a lot of time has passed, and the Germans are losing quite, hopefully, a few casualties. Taking quite a few casualties, at least. Uh, lost two ally. Those boys. Come on, you Mexican destroyers, destroy their subs. Make Mexico proud. Ooh, we lost a destroyer in exchange for two Italian light cruisers and ten enemy destroyers. Not bad. And sunk two more French convoys. Nice. Another sub gone. We lost a plane in exchange for another Canadian destroyer. Some more Spanish submarines. Another Canadian destroyer. And then two enemy convoys. Oh, it's paused. God dang it. Okay, go ahead. I don't need you to attack. Better maintenance company is awesome. Uh, get some recon going for us. Convoy lost. German convoy lost. German destroyer sunk. Good. Lost a privateer. That's okay. Yeah. I don't know why I have 23. Oh my gosh. Why? Like, I'm telling you not to go that way. Yeah, don't, don't go to... Oh, wait. That's trading to Portugal. That's okay. Uh, yeah, the rest of this. Hopefully, I'm just, like, losing supplies and not actual men or divisions. Because that wouldn't be very cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is a gold mine for sinking enemy ships up there. Uh, what's going on over here? Convoys. Oh, Kiwi Convoy. Kiwi Convoy, hey. Oh, we lost a destroyer in exchange for 10 German destroyers, as well as a light cruiser. Awesome. Uh, where's my navy? Oh, I need a lot of chromium. Oh, boy. That's probably what I'm trading for. I'm trading it for a lot of convoys to get chromium. Uh, let's just make sure everyone here is set to... Yeah, split off for now. I'm totally okay with that. Do that. Engage it low. Nice. Nice. How's this going? Well, we're attacking and doing okay. Not great, but we're doing okay. Oh, have we done some unread port strikes? Okay. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I think... Let's see. Just stop any trading I'm doing. Just stop it. It's going to kill my naval production. Uh, maybe except for Cuba. Cuba's okay, since we're, they're pretty darn close. Squad other than that, it's not worth it. Uh, then, oh my god, Colombia, that's a lot of divisions. Actually, yeah, I need you. I could use those divisions right now. Because I'm going to put them on home defense. And I really actually don't have any more generals. And also, we need to get some more uh, manpower. Service by requirement. Okay, America, hope you're ready. 
All right, so we're finally winning this battle around Detroit. Good. Let's see. Oh my gosh, where did they send their boys? Are we killing enough convoys where and ships? Oh, nice. Yeah, we're killing the Canadian Navy like crazy. But uh, you guys doing okay over here, or because right now in this part of Canada we're doing pretty darn well, even though the uh, Germans are breaking through our lines. So, it's a mixed bag, to be sure. Very mixed bag. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That's uh, a mixed bag right there. Allied convoy sunk. What's the, ooh, the allies, our Japanese allies, actually have some ships. Uh, let's see. Alright. Three more German subs sunk. Another German sub sunk. And then another German sub sunk. Wow, we sunk four more subs. while well, the Japanese lost nine convoys. So be it. God, there's so much going on here. Another destroyer sunk. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, very nice. Good job, subs. You're doing a great job. With all of this going on, we will probably need maybe a few more planes. Just to ensure that if we need to use naval bombers around here, we will be successful. And do we have any more naval bombers? Because Oh, yes, we do. Send 200. I'm out of manpower. Oh. You never want to say that as the United States. I'm out of manpower as the United States. Oh, dear God. That's time for panicking. Yeah, well, let's keep looking at uh, some of these ooh, jet engines. Sure. Um, Naval's rocket and sector 2 and improved guided missile. Sure. All right, then. Yeah, let's slow it down a little bit. Two speed right now is okay because we're destroying and getting destroyed a little bit. Quite a bit. Quite a, actually, quite a lot. Nice. Eight more German uh, destroyers sunk. That's really good. Uh, sub sunk. Two sub sunk. Two destroyers sunk. A submarine sunk. Five more destroyers sunk. Another destroyer. Eleven destroyers. Jesus, Canada. Another de Canadian destroyer. Eight more Canadian destroyers. Eight more convoys. Another Canadian destroyer. And two more Canadian destroyers. Holy crap, Canada. What are you doing with your life? like much what it looks like oh but defense bonus against German country hmm. I'm gonna save execute war plan black when we when, when we maybe get to the to Europe oh actually I want to do this because we need more chromium uh, war bonds war propaganda I need more manpower Come on, I thought we had plus 20% mobilization. Oh, we're paused. Oh my gosh. Two more German subs. Uh, we're going to take a look at the casualty list before too long, because there's so much going on right now. A light cruiser sunk. Another destroyer sunk. Four destroyers sunk. A German destroyer, another sunk. Six French convoys. Uh, another German convoy. Oh my gosh, there's just so much going on. Oh, we've been spreading around here like cancer. Holy cow. They might just cut us off up here. Actually, since you're coming down here, uh, I need someone to take these islands out. Actually, is this connected? Are you are you guys connected at all? Or Actually, you guys. Can you come down? You can come down here. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Go ahead and take... Oh, holy crap. Uh, no Korea... Mexican states. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. This is not good. That's really not good. Uh, and I've got divisions transferring up here. So th the Germans are trying to backdoor us. Of course. Of course, Germany. Of course, you are. Uh, let's see. Do I have my Marines? Where are my Marines at? W where are y'all? You're still in the water. God dang it. Oh, we got a lot of manpower now. Nice. Uh, stop doing that. I need you guys down here immediately. So. So that'll be good. I need... Let's try a, rapid more, a more rapid attack. Actually. Because parts of the line are very good right now. Especially in the east. Improve equipment conversion. Very nice. Two more subs sunk. Convoy sunk. And let's see. Our fuel is doing very well, of course. Do we need more rubber? 
No, we don't. We just need more chromium. Which we're extracting 15 a day and importing 87. Infantry. Um, hmm. Field hospitals could be very good. Let's see. You guys, 59 more divisions. I'm just going to put you on the coast. Good luck, guys. Right, more American convoys. Shot down. Oh, sunk a, a Spanish sub. Italian sub. Gotta actually think about what I'm saying here. It looks like there's nothing really here anymore, so that's good. Oh my gosh. Four Kiwi convoys. One Kiwi convoy. A f four French thingamabobs. Let's, what did we lose here? A couple planes. Yeah, planes are, you know, expendable. Oh my gosh. More convoys. Ooh, three ships. Three screens. Another screen. Another screen. Man, the German Navy is all up in this area. Five more German destroyers. Awesome. Let's pause it real quick. Uh, did they advance at all in this? No. Let's see. A couple planes. They're trying to kill my Navy here, which isn't good. Because... But then, to avoid getting your navy killed, all you really have to do is say, Hey, I don't like you. Let's go to war. Let's go kill each other, right? Dwight D. Eisenhower, no upgrades. Pretty typical of you, Dwight D. Eisenhower. If you can, please murder all your enemies in a fiery blaze. Dwight, or Douglas, I mean, MacArthur, Daddy, you wanted to be president, but I said no. So you're going to redeem yourself and just murder everyone here. Sounds pretty fair, right? Oh, happy 1947, happy 1947, everyone. Happy 1947. Let's see. And overall, especially... Holy crap, where... Are they abandoning their line or something? Holy cow. Alright, so they're moving in. You guys up here near Kashmir... Did I even give you orders? Go ahead when you can. Firefighting drills... Chance to receive critical hits goes down by 10%. Effects of sustained critical hits goes down as well. Very good. Uh, let's keep doing that. Just because this, these will automatically be applied as you research them. Nice. Two more German screens and three more convoys. Yeah, Germany, you're not really prepared. Holy crap, 45 French convoys. Yeah, Germany just is not prepared for a war like this in the Pacific. Yeah. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Oh, don't lose that spot. Because we can rep we can get you guys more supplies, but... They can't, really. Nice. Another sub lost. Another French sub. I will show you the casualties, like I said earlier, at the end of this video, so... Oh, we are expanding into Canada. Two more Canadian convoys. Canada. How many ships have you lost? Oh, this is ridiculous. They oh, you have three ships left, so they're pretty much all dead. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. We are expanding. We have encircled whatever divisions are down here. We're not necessarily doing that well at doing it. But, hey, we're doing something here. Ah, uh, yes. You took part of the American Midwest. Congrats. Because that's so valuable. And maybe except for food supplies. But, you know, luckily, food supplies aren't really represented well in this game. Some of these islands will have to be retaken. However, I want you four to come right here. Oh crap, uh, not, not like that. Not like this. There you go. How are the Marines? They are finally approaching this area. And we might just be able to push quite hard into Canada. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Uh, German right, how many ships do you have still? Probably over 300, yeah. But... Well, they started with 347 max, but now they're down to 312. That's pretty good. Italy, 56. That's not much. Spain, about the same. France, 30. So as long as we kill their ships, that's what really matters. Romania, German Raj, German Empire. So really, the Axis Navy isn't really situated to do very well, which is good for us. Very, very good for us. Oh, have, oh they've actually expanded down here. Have we been gun trying to attack? Yes, we have. It's not going super well. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. But, as long as you have air superiority, that's what really matters. Oof. Alright, how about you guys over here? You are under Eisenhower. You're on the right side. Actually, Eisenhower... Yeah, you're already on... Hmm. Huh. You said you have a 
okayish chance. It does make Arthur should have a very good chance of doing well. What I could do, you know what? Let's go crazy here. Because they obviously have maybe stationed more soldiers in Manchuria than, like, Mongolia. So, go ahead and have a good time. Over here, oh, strategic bombers. Oh, that, give me, that gives me some ideas. Let's see. Let me just add 400 more heavy fighters here. Uh, I don't know. This is not looking super good. Yeah, parts of it are okay, though. Mm, you have only 300. There you go. Have at it. Let's see. Lost a convoy. Lost a convoy. Yeah, we're not finding anything down here anymore, so I'm going to take the subs off of here, and we will instead come up here. Because it looks like we are still shooting down a lot of things over here. Nice. Three more convoys. Da 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 da. I'm just quickly going through these to see if there's anything important. Nope. And these tank divisions. Uh, you can't blitzkrieg us. And we've taken some Canadian territory. Awesome. Very awesome. Our tanks have actually been very successful. Wow. That's a little unusual. They were actually able to take Toronto. And Ottawa. And yet they abandoned their lines again. American doctrine, man. It's it's a weird doctrine. You never know if you might win, you might lose. It's very, very odd. What? Nine more convoys. Another destroyer sunk, destroyer sunk, convoy sunk. Destroyer sunk. Planes, planes. Destroyer sunks. Ooh. Two more German convoys. Another German con Oh my gosh. Japan. What are you doing? Uh, we lost convoy. We lost convoy. Six more Japanese convoys sunk. Oh, we are taking Mongolia pretty darn well. Holy cow. Douglas MacArthur, you're doing great. If we can take, like, all of this area and ignore this part of Siberia, eh, who knows? Maybe that'll be good for us. Nice. And actually, I don't mind if you guys... Yeah, you're already on split off. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. That'll be good. Actually, I don't mind if you all go ahead and repair now. Go ahead and repair. I don't want to lose really any ships. I mean, if I lose a few screens, it's fine. But regardless, I think that's all the time we have for today. So, what have we done in this episode so far? Well, we weren't able quite yet to take Canada, but that was a goal that was not super realistic. We did invade Papau, which is going, you know, not too badly. Not too badly. Uh, other than that, we have we invaded quite a few German islands here. And I'm honestly a little, I guess not surprised, but... A little impressed. Excuse me. And we have lost a little bit of American territory, but ultimately, we are pretty much able to take it almost all back. And we have expanded ourselves into Canada while destroying a crap ton of enemy ships. How many ships have we lost? We've lost 163 in total. Let's see. Over the current month, we've lost 17 ships in exchange for 118. Not bad. And this is a casualty list. So we've taken a total of 732,000 across all of our nations in war, with us taking about a little under 400,000, mostly due to the German Reich and Italy and Vichy France. Tibet? Republic of Tibet? Oh, whatever. And the Axis has lost a total of 2 million soldiers, with Germany taking half of those casualties, and Canada is halfway to capitulation. So guys, with that in mind, we have launched Operation Unthinkable here as we will begin trying to grind our way towards Europe, destroying any sort of Axis influence in the Americas, and hopefully someday taking out the Oceanic Axis regions called Centrist Australia and the Kiwi Empire. So very much thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue to push against the hordes of the Axis. Thanks for watching.